Greetings to you all. Welcome to Psalm 27 studies. We are going to continue our Bible studies. And in our previous video, we talked about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We saw that the baptism of the Holy Spirit really occurred in the Bible, in Acts chapter 2 and in Acts chapter 10, and it occurred twice in the Bible, one on the Jews and the other one on the Gentiles. And then with the question arise, what about the laying of hands? Is that the baptism of the Holy Spirit also? And the answer is no. The laying of hands by the apostles is not the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Remember that in our studies in Matthew chapter 3, verse 11 to verse 12, John the Baptist said, it's only Christ that can administer the baptism of the Holy Spirit. It's no human being can do that. No apostle can do that. So you realize that in Acts chapter 2 and in Acts chapter 10, nobody lay hands on anybody. The Holy Spirit baptism came directly from heaven upon the apostles in Acts chapter 2 and then in Acts chapter 10 upon the Gentiles. And then now when we want to talk about the laying of hands, it's a different scenario. It is the ability given by God to the apostles. When I say the apostles, I mean the 12 apostles who were given power to do certain things that the other disciples were not able to do. So on these 12 apostles, they have the power to lay hands on people. And their purpose of laying hands is what we are going to study in the Holy Scriptures. So if you have asked us the question after the baptism of the Holy Spirit about what about the laying of hands, this is the study we are bringing to you. And we hope that you pay very good attention and then listen very carefully to the study we are about to bring to you on the board. So let's go to the board here. Now, there is a period in the Christian age from 33 to 100 AD, which is known as the Apostolic Age. That means the period that the 12 apostles who were selected by Jesus Christ now listen, uh, Judas Iscariot died, Matthias was added, and later on Paul was also added, making 13. These apostles were given special mission and special powers to do certain things. And one of the things they did within this period of time is the laying, is the laying on of the apostles' what? hands. That the apostles do by laying of hands. Now, in the first century, or the beginning of Christianity, whenever you believe in Jesus Christ and you get baptized, you are safe. But then, you need some special guidance from God. Because there is no Bible, the Bible was in the making. The Word of God is now coming out. The truth is in progress. It has not yet finished to be revealed. So all the disciples being baptized by the apostles at that time need some special guardians. And these are known as the miraculous gift of the Spirit. There are two, nine of them. We will deal with them. But before anyone can get any of these nine miraculous gifts of the Spirit, an apostle I mean the twelve have to lay hands upon them. And when an apostle lay hands upon you, you either get one, two, or three of those nine gifts, which are known as miraculous gifts. They are miraculous because it, 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 it supersedes human level. Uh, we will deal with that, but if we are talking about uh, uh, knowledge, a knowledge where you have not, you, you acquire it, but you have not been to school before. 
just God give it to you. That is miraculous. It's not ordinary. Okay, so we will deal with all those nine gifts. But what we want to study in this uh, 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 short video is that before any disciple within the apostolic age, 33 AD to 100 AD, will get any of this nine miraculous gifts, it is an apostle who has to lay hands upon that uh, before that person gets the gifts. And if you have not heard or have not studied that, this is the time. You can follow me in this study. Now, in Acts chapter 2, the apostles got baptized in the Holy Spirit. And just as God promised them, Christ promised them that I will give them power. So God gave the apostles power. So after Acts chapter 2, the apostles started doing wonders and signs. For instance, in Acts chapter 2, verse 43, the Bible says that, Then fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs, many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. So, in the beginning, it was only the apostles who were doing these wonders and signs because they were given special power and they were baptized in the Holy Spirit. Now, you go to us, chapter 3, verse 6, Peter held the lame man. He said, silver and gold I do not, we do not have, but in the name of Jesus Christ, stand up and walk. It was Peter who did that. Now, you go to Acts chapter 5, verse 15. You see, he says, so that they brought the sick into out in the street and laid them in beds and coaches, so that the shadow, the shadow of Peter, so that the shadow of Peter passing might heal them. This is how God was using the apostles the 12, to accomplish his purpose. Okay? Now, how did other people who are not apostles, how did they also got the ability to do miracles? And this is where the study begins. To open your eyes so that you understand that things have to go in the right way. So in Acts chapter 6, verse 1 to verse 6, there was a selection of seven, seven deacons. There was a selection of seven deacons. The apostles told the crowd, select seven deacons, men, so that we will give them the ability to be able to function and to work among you for the distribution of food and other things. Now, what happened in Acts chapter 6, verse 1 to 2, is that these are the seven deacons that they selected. Stephen, and then we have Philip. We have the record of these two. That's why I gave them a mark sign. Now, these seven people were brought to the apostles, and the apostles laid their hands upon them. Okay? The apostles laid their hands upon them. Now, when the apostles laid their hands upon them, they imparted miraculous powers to the seven. We don't have the record of the five, but we have the record of Stephen. And we have the record of what? Of Philip in us chapter, uh, in, in us chapter uh, 7 and in us chapter 6. So here, this will be the first time you realize that in us chapter 6, in us chapter 6, after the apostles have laid their hands upon Philip and Stephen, Stephen started to do miracles. 
So Stephen got the gift. After the apostles have laid their hands upon him, he got the gift of miracles. He got the gift of miracles. And the Bible was very, very clear on that. In Acts chapter 7, the Bible was very, very clear on that. The Bible says that Stephen did a whole lot of wonders and signs. He said, verse 7, Acts 6 verse 7, Then the word of God spread, and the number of disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and great multitude of the Jews were being. And Stephen, full of faith, okay? So Stephen got faith, and he got the gift of miracle, after the apostles have laid their hands upon him. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Okay? And then Stephen got the gift also of knowledge because he recited the Bible. He took the Jews from Genesis all the way to the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. So Stephen was able to do this after the apostles have laid their hands upon them. Because when you read the verse, Acts chapter 6, verse 6, he, say, he said, Then the twelve summoned the multitude of the disciples and said, It is not desirable that we leave the word of God and serve tables. Okay? And then they chose the seven. Okay? And, and the same priest them and the whole multitude. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of spirit. He said, Whom they said before the apostles. They said all the seven. Let me bring the diagram again as we study this. They said all these seven among the apostles. And the Bible says that then uh, the, they said before the apostles, then when they have prayed, they laid their hands upon them. The laying of hands by the apostles. So when they laid their hands upon them, Stephen got these gifts. He got the gift of faith he got the gift of miracle, and he got the gift of knowledge. He doesn't have to learn before he knows. So he was able to recite the Bible from Genesis all the way to the crucifixion of Christ. And the Jewish Sahindran and the Pharisees could not resist the knowledge which Stephen was speaking to the extent that they have to tithe him and then take him out and stone him to be the first martyr to die. They stone him to death. How did Stephen got the ability to do miracles? How did he got the ability to have supernatural knowledge, which things he has not studied? God was giving it to him. It is through the laying of the apostle's hand. So we have one proof that before one can get any of these gifts, which is the gift, any of these nine gifts, which we are going to deal with faith in the next video, Stephen got this. He got faith, he got knowledge, he got miracles. It was the laying of the apostles' what? hands. Don't forget that. Now, let's look at Another person among the seven that the apostles laid their hands upon them. And that person is Philip. Let me put it here. So the second person we are going to deal with is Philip. Okay? And Philip also, before he could do miracles or do signs and wonders, the apostles have to lay their hands upon him. Now let's look at the work of Philip. We have the work of Philip in the in the Bible. And in this wise, we said Philip here. Philip did a great work. He took he took his mission. Philip took his mission to to Samar Samaria. He was the first disciple to take the gospel to the Samaritans. 
And we want to see what Philip did when he went to Samaria. He did wonderful things in Samaria there. Because here is the case, he was among the seven that apostles laid their hands upon. Now, let's see what Philip did. Um, he said, the Bible says that uh, we have this man um, called Philip, and then he said, therefore, those who were scattered went everywhere, preaching the word of God. I'm reading from Acts chapter 8, verse 4. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria. So Philip went to the city of Samaria and preached Christ to them. So he preached Christ to them. And the multitude with one accord heeded the things spoken by Philip. And seeing the signs, the miracles, which he did. Now, Philip started to do miracle. This is the third person. When you put the apostles aside, Stephen was the second person the Bible mentioned here in the New Testament that he started to do miracle. Stephen completed his mission. He was stoned to death. The next person is Philip. Now, remember that Philip and Stephen were among the seven who were chosen. And then the apostles have to lay their hands upon these seven people. And we have these two people record. So, Stephen got the gift of miracle. And we can assure you that when the apostles laid their hands upon, when the apostles laid their hands upon them, uh, not only did Stephen got the gift of miracle, but Philip also got the gift of miracle. Philip also got the gift of miracle. So he went to Samaria. And when he went to Samaria, he did a lot of great things. He said, and then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ to them. And the multitude of one accord heeded to the things spoken by Philip. And seeing the miracles that he did, for on clean spirit, crying with loud voice, came out of many who were possessed and many who were paralyzed. You see the miracles Philip is doing. How did Philip got this power? The apostles have to lay hands upon him. And you will see many who were paralyzed and lame were healed. And there was, there was great joy in the city. So there was great joy in the city. Because Philip was able to do these miracles, he had the gift by the laying on of the apostles' one hand. Now, in, this, in, the, in, in our studies here, we are on this part of our studies. And I hope that you, 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 you are following the lessons very, very carefully. That we want to establish the fact that before anyone can get any of this nine gift, which is written in 1 Corinthians 12, verse 7 to verse, uh, uh, verse, 7 to verse 12, an apostle has to lay hands upon you. And these are the 12 apostles. And these 12 apostles, they died a long time ago. The last apostle to die was John. He died in the year 96 AD. In Jerusalem, uh, 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 after he, he, was, he went to exile, and then he died. He was the last apostle. He wrote the book of Revelation. Now, this is accomplished. And we will learn that you don't need these gifts anymore. As our studies will prove, that you don't need this gift anymore in this time of Christianity. And you, you will be marveled about how Christianity has been turned upside down in this our modern world times. So here is the case. Let's analyze and then 
Let's realize the little we have learned right now. We are going to continue in the next video. So follow us in the next video. What we are saying is that the Bible teaches that when the early church started, when the early church started, there was the apostles, the 12 apostles, 13, Paul added, who were given special powers to lay hands upon the disciples. When the disciples believed and they were baptized, the apostles lay hands upon them to give them special gifts. Special gift. The special gift comes from nine of these. You can either get the gift of tongue, you can get the gift of prophecy, which we will explain in the next video. That's why it's important to follow us in the next video. Or the gift of knowledge. And the reason for this special gift is that things are not how you see it now. As we will explain, there was no New Testament. The word of God was in the making. And therefore, these new disciples need to be back up with something to keep them, to keep their Christianity. And doing that, God did some special work. He did some special miracles by endowing them with miraculous gift whenever an apostle lay hands upon you. Remember, the laying of hands was to back them up with this gift so that their faith will be established. Now, though this gift, its purpose has been accomplished after the completion of the Bible. And that will be our study in our next video. So let's summarize what we have learned. The very first time, apart from the apostle, a disciple started to do miracle was Stephen. Why did Stephen get his power to do those miracles? The apostle laid hands upon him. As chapter 6 from verse 1 to verse 7. Then we saw another person also who started to do miracles apart from Stephen. He was also among the seven that the apostles chose. And this person is Philip. And then Philip was also among them that the apostle laid hands upon them and they imparted unto Philip powers. Philip went to Samaria and then he preached the gospel. He healed a lot of people and a lot of people believed in what he was saying. And the Bible says that in verse 12, it says, when they believe, when they believed Philip, as he preached the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, both men and women were baptized. Okay? So this is what Philip did in Samaria. He is the first disciple to take the gospel to Samaria. Just as Christ said, you will be witness to me in Jerusalem. In, 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 in Judea and in Samaria and onto the uttermost part of the way. Philip fulfilled that mission. Philip did a lot of miracles in, in, in Samaria. But before he was able to do the miracle, an apostle had to lay hands upon him. We will continue in the next one video. May the Lord bless you as you continue to study with us. Our next video is going to continue from here, we are going to prove the work of Philip in, in Samaria and what happened over there. And we are going to further emphasize the fact that before anyone can get any of these gifts, an apostle has to lay his hand upon him. So don't forget to continue in our next uh, video. May God bless you for listening and may God open our minds for a clear understanding of this important lesson. In Jesus' name, Amen.